It is the last day of moving. We are moving tomorrow. I'm Emma. That's Josh. This is our 50 foot catamaran, and you're watching Sailing Uncut. Good morning, everybody. So today's going to be the last flashback episode that we're doing. If you haven't seen the previous two, I would watch them first. They are us buying the boat and then doing the delivery. And this one's going to be us selling all of our personal belongings and moving our entire workshop from Yapoon all the way back down to Brisbane. And also just a very big thank you to Keely who came and helped us for the two weeks Life that we were doing that. We would not have been <laughs> able to do that without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And we hope you enjoy this flashback episode. Okay, two very exciting things happening this morning. First is that we are actually breaking our lease for... Go on, we're out of here! House. <laughs> so our lease actually expires in October, but obviously because we have the boat now, which is six months earlier than we were anticipating, we went to the real estate agent and we made a deal with them. So we have agreed to break lease. We will be moving out on the 1st of June and we only have to pay for those three weeks left of rent. And then we also have to forfeit our bond. So the bond goes back to the owner. We only have to leave the house in the condition that obviously it was um, in when we first came here. And then after the end of those four weeks, we're done. Go on, we're in a boat. Next step that we have to do is sell everything that we own. So we're currently living in a five bedroom house and we also have our company attached to that. Obviously we're not getting rid of all of the company stuff. So I thought it'd be really fun if we go room by room and just quickly tally up what we have and what it means to actually downsize and move onto a boat full time. So currently at the front of the house, let's go upstairs and start in the bedroom and then we can kind of weave our way through and See what we come up with. <laughs> so this is our main bedroom. We have the king size bed, king size mattress, all of the sheets and dunas and linen for the bed, two bedside tables, two bedside lamps, a Google home coming through in here. We just have silly things like the duck, the rubber ducky, and just a whole lot of knickknacks that we've got to figure out what we're doing with. We have our wardrobe, so we've decided that we're actually going to donate all of our clothes and then we're just going to keep our exercise clothes and our beach clothes because that's literally what we live in on a day-to-day -day basis. We have the TV that we've got to get rid of, peaches, so our beautiful elephant canvas that we've literally had the whole time we've been together, the blanket box, all of the just the stuff that we've collected over the years that we've got to go through and get rid of and the big mirror. So that's pretty much it for the main bedroom. Next we have my office, so let's have a look. We have my desk, have my office chair. Okay, we've got monitors, boxes of cosplays and things we've got to figure out what we're doing with. And then in here, golf clubs. You know, we can't take them on the boat. More cosplay outfits. <laughs> this impulse Lego set by of Hogwarts, I'm assuming we can't take that onto the boat. And the table that I made for it, so we've got to get rid of that. Armchair, curtains bookcase and literally everything that's on the bookcase the monitor all the books the board games the plants the artwork on the wall there that's going as well okay now we have josh's office so if we come in here we have the futon the pillows the artwork on the wall the rug the coffee table the millennium falcon lego set the two suitcases the sword the guitar over on this side we've got his office chair his desk, which is also an electric one, so it goes up and down, and his monitor, but your computer is staying, and then obviously R2, probably doesn't have to come with us as well. Things like the speakers, Google Home, the coasters, all of this stuff is going, so lots in that room. And through to Josh's bathroom, probably nothing is going from there. And another cupboard, so literally full of pillows and linen and board games and suitcases and duffel bags and more rugs so we have to figure out where all of that is going because it is not coming with us now through to the spare bedroom 
So starting in here, we've got the two bedside tables, two bedside lamps, a queen size bed, queen size mattress, all of the linen. This linen actually will probably come with us because we have the queen size beds on the boat um, to start off with. The artwork on the wall, the little A-frame, the books, the candles, candle holders, and the, my favorite plant. I don't know if we're gonna get rid of that yet. And we've done all of upstairs, so let's go downstairs and see what we've got. <laughs> okay, so in this little area we have our big plant with our pot, duck and goose have to go, the whole table here, and the mirror, so that's kind of everything in this area. If you come on down here. And we've also got two plants and two big pots outside as well that we've got to deal with. Okay, so into the lounge room, we have our blanket rack and all the little blankets. We have our couch, which my dad has asked me so many times that he wants. So dad, the couch is yours and you can have the cushions on it as well. We're going to get rid of the coffee table with a plant in it. Our lamp over here, our big TV and the legs on it are actually custom made. So we're going to take those legs back off and put the normal TV legs on this and over to our bookcase we're gonna get rid of the bookcase and then everything that is in the bookcase and that's all just filming gear that we're going to take with us and obviously the Nintendo switches are coming with us <laughs> definitely not getting rid of them so through the kitchen I just realized though, that we have this pot and also this beautiful picture of Josh and his brother Reese. They are sailing a flying 11 in the Australian Nationals so this picture is obviously coming with us we're gonna hang out on the boat because Obviously Josh was sailing from a very young age and has loved it ever since. So through to the kitchen. The kitchen is a little bit of a difficult one because we're not too sure what we're actually going to take and what we're going to sell or donate. The We're definitely going to get rid of the fridge and we're going to get rid of anything that's glass. So all of our wine glasses, all of our alcohol bottles because we'll just get new ones, we'll probably drink all of that, to be honest. But all of our cutlery and our plates and our bowls and things like that, we're not 100% sure what we're going to do because there are some things that are already on the boat. We need to take everything out of the cupboards and probably organize all of that. So I think we're going to make decisions on that a little bit later on. It's things like this clock though, we've got to get rid of that. Probably get rid of our big items like our toaster, our kettle, our blender. We've got to get rid of these two stools. And then coming over to this section first. So this is our kind of yoga studio at the moment. We always seem to end up with fake grass in whatever house we're at. So we're going to do a little bit of fake grass in the boat, but probably just on a bookshelf or something. So we've got to get rid of the grass. The yoga mats are obviously going to come with us. These two chairs, we've got to get rid of. In this basket here, there's just a whole heap of like home workout and weights and things like that. So not too sure if we're going to take that or um, sell it. We've got the PlayStation ready to sell because we think we're obviously not going to have much time to play anything. So... Nintendo Switch and that's it. Things like the pillows need to go, the two trees need to go. This tree is obviously doing a lot better than this one. I don't know why. Gotta get rid of the um, bookcase and everything that's on it. Gotta get rid of the picture and the skateboards will probably come with us. Gotta get rid of the soundbar and all the knickknacks. So over here, what we loved about this house is that we don't eat at a dining table. So we changed this area to be like kind of like conference room for our company. What we're actually gonna do though is sell the table and this table comes with all the dining chairs, so get rid of that. Get rid of the rug and the whiteboard um, that we kind of just sketch out our ideas we will take with us as well. So one of the last rooms in the house is the utility room. This is where we do a lot of work for our company. So we have all of our 3D printers, our space for electronics, and then our kind of packaging area and just a whole lot of bags and boxes and printers. So all of these benches are coming with us and all of this is just going to get um, put into the new workshop so we don't have to actually sell anything in here. Now this is actually uh, another bathroom but we've just used it as like a storage area and then all of our kiting gear, surfboards, all of our fun toys they're obviously coming with us. And now into the laundry, things like we've got to get rid of the washing machine, the dryer, our 5 million vacuum cleaners that we have because Josh is never happy with whatever vacuum cleaner I buy. Yeah, it's through to our workshop, which I'm not going to show you yet, but all of that is coming with us. That is actually everything that is in our house. There's things outside, which is like lawn mowers and whippersnippers and all of that sort of stuff that we have to get rid of that, again, we probably will forget and realize right at the end that that's what we need to do. But that's it. I'm really interested to see what the tally is for all of that. And we will go from there and start listing them and we'll show you the process of where we list the items items and um, what old items we're going to end up donating as well. So let's go.
looks secure. What you doing? Delivering some furniture. So we sold all of this stuff to the one person and they wanted us to deliver it. So we'll deliver it. So we got the queen bed frame. Queen bed frame and the all of the bookshelving from your office and some picture frames and a bedside table. Perfect. Furniture flying out the door. <laughs> so what's the plan? We have too many clothes. Okay, all this is going downstairs and then we have to fold it and fit it in a suitcase. Chuck it, go! Alright, all going, I have a Not lot. all of it! <laughs> I'm gonna do it! Do it. Just chuck it. You reckon? Yep. What are you doing? I saw my desk. <laughs> We weren't going to sell this. No, we were going to put it in the workshop, but now I've got to deal with all of this and the guy's coming back to pick it up. We sold it though. We only were supposed to sell the chairs and then he said, oh, have you got any desks? Oh! It's coming! It's coming! in the next 10 minutes to pick up all of this stuff so everything over here is pretty much our kitchen and our leftover food and then we just have like tennis rackets and heaters and then over here is all of our clothes so that fit in two suitcases and three boxes glassware tupperware pots board games plants yoga mats motorbike helmet she said she was going to take anything and she's either going to keep stuff for herself give it to her friends or just donate it to a charity all the things that she doesn't want the last day of moving we are moving tomorrow and Emma has just managed to sell the king bed set up and the mattress which is awesome and I finally managed to sell the TV I've had like four people say yep yep I want it and then cancel on me so and we, the dude still hasn't picked it up yet but he's on his way so we're gonna sell that we still got all this stuff I mean we're, we're getting there but the, the main big ticket items have been sold we are we don't have much stuff anymore Good morning everyone, it is 6 o'clock now and we decided to have a sleepover downstairs because everything upstairs is cleaned and there's no furniture up there so this is literally what we have left. Okay, we are up and caffeinated and it is officially moving day. So what is happening today is that my dad actually left at 6 o'clock this morning, he is 8 hours away and picked up a moving truck and then is bringing it up here. So we have the moving truck, the ute and the trailer that we need to fit everything in and we need to hand back the keys tomorrow morning so we have a lot to do within the next 24 hours pack everything clean the house move everything eight hours away and then 
be at the other end at one o'clock tomorrow. We sold everything that we owned, but my dad was so adamant that he wanted this cash. But it isn't massive, so it is actually gonna take up a lot of the truck. But we also can't complain because dad is the one that is driving the truck up here. So the reason as to why we did it that way is it's actually really expensive to drive a truck one way. Dad was really good in the sense that if he drives up, we pack it and then we end the truck back up where it was collected. It ends up being so much cheaper. All right, it's 10 o'clock. That took way longer than we thought it would. So Keely and I are gonna drive through the night and we will catch you on the other side. I'm going, I'm driving the truck. Bye. Goodbye. All right, they're driving away now. I am staying here with dad and you get overnight and then we're gonna be driving tomorrow morning. And so that last shot was us just driving away from Yapoon. Like that was just, it was so exciting. And then from there, we went down back to Scarborough and moved on to the boat full time. Boat life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed the flashback episodes, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Because it really does help us out a lot. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.